Okay, I don't know what's happening. I just have a toy Enterprise in my hand, but you know what? Holding it just makes me feel that much more powerful. By the way, how are you guys doing? I'm in the process of developing a new flick cave. And by the way, look at this blue tarp on the ground. You know what this makes me feel like with this much plastic on the ground? It makes me feel like Patrick Bateman. I invite someone over, I sit him down, I give him a cup of coffee, and I start talking about music from the 1980s and how inspirational it is, and Phil Collins' earlier work was much more motivating, but yet, and then I just stab him in the head with an axe! Okay, so we got the new Flick Cave painted. It's blue, it's majestic, it's mystical. It makes me feel like I'm in an ocean and I'm floating. I'm the Little Mermaid right now and I'm floating and there's flounder over there. And, uh, why do I want to be the Little Mermaid? I, don't, I think that's a psychological problem. Anyway, yeah, so we got this painted. The walls used to be white. I don't like white walls. They give me headaches. They make me feel depressed. I feel like I'm in an insane asylum, even though I should be. Okay, so here's the room so far. Now, this is going to be the dedicated theater room. There will not be a desk in here. Now, I will make videos in here, like movie night videos, things like that. Uh, now, uh, by the way, don't mind the blood splatter on the tarp. Now, there's a ladder over there, just in case you want to have a WWE ladder match. But that's actually going to leave here shortly. Uh, but yeah, I got some really cool, awesome theater chairs coming. Now, these theater chairs I have coming, they're like, they're pretty badass, okay? They're, I got them for a really good deal. They have LED lighting under them. They glow blue. They're leather. They have like little cup holders. They, they're heated. So yeah, this is going to be the new Flick Cave theater room. If you can't have a basement, move your basement to the second floor of a new house, paint it blue, and there you go. By the way, the blue walls, they make, like, look at this right here. I'm just a floating head right now. Look at this. I'm just a floating head. No? Is that effect not selling well? Okay. Okay, since this is going to be the new flip game, and by the way, the movie shelf is actually, I'm not, it's going to be in here too, because wherever I watch my movies, that's where I put my movie shelf. Like little memories, you set on a shelf, whenever you want to retrieve one, you get it. It's like, I want to cry and think about being old. And then it's like, I grab Stand By Me, and I'm like, life is too short. And then I want to think about, uh, I don't know, escaping prison. I grab the Shawshank Redemption, and I want to think about becoming a badass cybernetic organism with a little boy riding in front of me on a motorcycle, and I, I pull out T2. I'm a cybernetic organism. All right, terrible impression. So yeah, this is going to be the movie watching area. Now, right across the hallway is where the uh, the videos, the normal videos are going to happen. This is going to be my office editing room. All right, so anyway, let's go check that out. By the way, there's the uh, the movie shelf right there, looking all sad, slumped over. But anyway, uh, here's what's going on in here, guys. Now, this is a different blue. Now, my favorite color is blue, so that's the color I need to feel vibrant, alive, and energized, almost like I'm in a sea of sadness and I'm drowning. I don't know why, but that makes me feel good about myself. Do you want to talk that, man? <laughs> See, told you. So anyway, yeah, this blue is actually, what's happening? This blue is actually a different version than that blue. It's a few shades brighter. You know what I mean? Like, that's where you watch the movie, so you got to have a darker blue, a more sad blue, but this is a more vibrant blue. Does anyone know what I'm talking about anymore? We're talking about the color blue. Okay, so that's what's going on right now. Actually, you know what I want to do? I don't know why, I just, I got the urge to do something weird here. You guys are probably thinking, oh, okay, that's, there we go, come on. Ghetto tripod setup, there we go. Oh no, JR, he's going to the top row. Oh, he hasn't seen this since 1986. Elbow drop, elbow drop, elbow drop. Oh, okay, let's go. <laughs> I don't know, like, Here's my advice to you guys, okay? If you're getting bored with life, set up a ladder, at least six foot, no shorter, no taller. You get, you get hurt, you go taller. And jump off that son of a bitch. You're gonna feel more alive than you ever have. That's my recommendation to you. Okay, so on a serious note, uh, yeah, more videos on the way. Uh, I got a flick trip coming. I might shoot that tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna talk about some pre-workout, look for some movies, get a pump. It, like, it just makes sense. A uh, new Q&A will be on the way. Uh, tons of great questions from the last Q&A. I actually read through probably about 90% of them, and I'm like, some of these get pretty dark, a little bit depressing, a little bit gritty, but I like it. Uh, what else is on the way? Oh, more top 10 videos. Now, here's my question to you guys. Would you guys like to see top 10 action movies? Is that, I feel like I need to do that. That just feels like something I need to have done. And then uh, this Thursday, I'm seeing Rise of the Planet of the... No? Rise of the Planet of the Apes. That's not, no, that's the first movie. All right, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. 
I'm out of touch, guys. I gotta, I gotta get back into the game. So anyway, I'm seeing that Thursday review will be up on Friday for the Flick Pick channel. So anyway, guys, yeah, thanks for watching. Leave your thoughts, your comments, anything you want to down below. I'll see you guys next time.